See some people are here already. I'd like to see that. Hi, Leslie. Elliot and Joshua. Thanks for coming in, everybody. Elio and Alyssa. Hi. Gonna have a great time today. Thanks for coming, you early birds. Brooklyn, New York. Oh, I'm sorry, that's Brooklyn in Zachary, Louisiana. My mistake. And Sadie and Will in Dallas. Uh, also Ava in Dallas. Uh, who else is here? Different parts of the country. Thanks for coming back for week three, all of you. Uh, Tyler and Elena in Florida. Ready to listen? Okay, I'm ready to talk. Okay. <sighs> who else is here with me today? Oh, we got Ryan from uh, Coral Springs, Florida. Hi, Ryan. How you doing? Isn't this fun? I hope you're having fun. Okay. A lot of people from New Jersey. I wonder who's the youngest person here. There's probably some like four-year-olds listening in, you know, and watching in, you know. Okay. We'll get started in uh, four minutes. Uh, but I'll just say hi to uh, Kieran and uh, Tyler from Florida and uh, Adriana and Liam is here and um, Braden and uh, Michaela and Georgia, people from all over the country. Miami Beach, Daniel. Anybody named Daniel has to be cool, right? Right, Daniel? Uh Harrison from Georgia. Harrison, did you read Mr. Harrison is Embarrassing? Hope you read that one. We got three minutes before we get started. <clears throat> Stephanie and Sophia and uh, Joey and New Rochelle. Okay, hi. Hi, everybody. Those of you who are tuning in, we'll get started in, in, in a minute or two, a few minutes. Okay. The Sunflower State. Gabrielle, the Sunflower State, what is that? I don't know. I'll look it up after we're finished. Okay, uh, let's see. Thanks for the baseball cards. Okay, Brian, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> uh, uh, who else is here? Uh, Reese and Ruby and... Uh, Farah and Sam and Jack. Jack, did you read Mr. Jack is a Maniac? Got to read that one. Peyton and Logan from Iowa. I got to get to Iowa someday. I've never been, I don't think I've ever been to Iowa. No, yes, I have. I've been to Iowa. Ames, Iowa. Uh, Dylan, Tyler, Sebastian, and Edison from Puerto Rico. Yeah. Let's see, we got two minutes before we get started here. Hey, Asher. In Plymouth meeting, three books over the weekend. Kid must be a speed reader. Uh, Long Island, we got uh, Jace, Tyler, and Kaylee here, and uh, somebody from San Antonio, Bronte and Berkeley from San Antonio. I can't read all your names, but I'll just read as many as I can before we, we get started, which is in one minute. Whew. Better take a sip. Okay. I'm ready. You ready? Let's do this thing. <clears throat> Am I centered? Okay. Where's my makeup girl? My makeup boy. I don't have any makeup. <laughs> I should trim my beard though. Next time I'll trim my beard. Okay. 159. Counting down. And it's almost time to start. And just watching the clock. <laughs> it's go time, baby. Hi, my name is Dan Gutman. Um, thanks for joining me, everybody. Uh, I'm the author of the My Weird School series. Uh, and other books for kids. And I actually have some news today. Before we get started with our book, I have some news. Um, a number of people have said to me uh, they don't have access to Facebook. 
or their school system blocks Facebook so they can't see it. And they said, is there any other way we can watch these read-alouds other than Facebook? So I spoke to my webmaster, the uh, wonderful Phyllis, who does this stuff for me, and she um, instantly put all the videos on my website. So you can, after we're finished here, you can go to my website, which is just www.dangutman.com, and you can click a button to watch uh, the first two weeks of these read-alouds we, we've been doing, uh, any of them. And they're all there, so you don't have to go to Facebook anymore uh, to see these. And so the first two weeks are there, and after we finish our book this week, that book will be posted there too. So you'll be able to see all the videos on my website. Okay, so let's get started for this week. Uh, it's Monday, and you know what that means. It's time to start a new book. And the new book is going to be, as you probably already know, Miss Porter is out of order, okay? It's number two in the My Weirderest School series. And uh, um, conveniently, there's 10 chapters in the book, so we'll t do two today, two Tuesday, two Wednesday, two Thursday, two Friday, and we will fin be finished with Miss Porter on Friday. At which top point, we'll start a new book. Okay, are you guys ready? All right, gather around, gather around the computer, the widescreen TV, the tablet, the smartphone, whatever you're watching me on, and um, huddle up, get cozy, and we're gonna start Miss Porter is out of order. Okay. And uh, actually, Miss Porter starts with a picture, uh, unusually. It's a picture, one of Jim's wonderful pictures, and that's uh, AJ walking to school. Okay. All right. And, uh, oh, chapter one is titled, No! And I have to just preface this by saying that uh, I promise you, I wrote this thing. The book came out last year, and I wrote it a year before that. So I had no idea that the world was going to be completely different by the time this book came out. Because the first sentence of the book is, my name is AJ and I hate washing my hands. I swear, I swear, I do not, I do nothing, but that's the first sentence. Okay. All right. So it, it times have changed. My name is AJ and I hate washing my hands. What's the point of washing your hands? They're just going to get dirty again in a few minutes. For that matter, what's the point of washing anything? When you wash your car, it's just going to get dirty again. When you wash your clothes, they're just going to get dirty again. If you ask me, we could save a lot of time if we just stop washing stuff. Anyway, it was Friday morning. Everybody in my class was putting their backpacks into their cubbies. Annoying Andrea and her crybaby friend Emily were washing their hands in the sink in the back of the room. I always wash my hands to start each day, said Andrea. It makes me feel clean. Me too, said Emily, who always does everything Andrea does. Hey, do you want to come over to my house after school today? Sorry, Andrea told her, but I have my computer class after school. What is her problem? Andrea is the only kid in our class who has her own smartphone, and she takes classes after school in everything. If they gave a class in nose picking, she would take that class so she could get better at it. That's when our teacher, Mr. Cooper, came flying into the room. And I do mean flying. Mr. Cooper wears a cape, and he thinks he's a superhero. For once, he didn't trip over anything and fall on the floor. I have to go to the bathroom to wash my hands, Mr. Cooper said. I'll be right back. It's an emergency. A hand-washing emergency? That was weird. When Mr. Cooper came back from the bathroom, we pledged the allegiance and did word of the day. Here's a picture of Mr. Cooper coming back from the bathroom with his clean hands. Okay. I have big news, he told us. Uh-oh. 
big news usually means bad news. You were fired, asked Michael, who never ties his shoes. You're quitting, asked Ryan, who will eat anything, even stuff that isn't food. You're dying, asked Neil, who we call the nude kid, even though he wears clothes. The earth is going to be destroyed by an asteroid, asked Alexia, this girl who rides a skateboard all the time. No, it's none of those things, said Mr. Cooper. The big news is that I'm going to be away all next week. What? That's even worse than the earth getting destroyed by an asteroid. I'm going to visit my sister, Mr. Cooper told us. She lives in Spain. No! Don't go! You can't leave us! Everybody was yelling and screaming and shrieking and hooting and hollering and freaking out. Even with a weird teacher like Mr. Cooper, at least you know what to expect. When there's a substitute teacher, you never know what you're going to get. The sub could be even weirder. Who will be our teacher? asked Alexia. Will it be a man? asked Neil. Will it be a lady? Will she be nice? asked Emily, who always cares about how nice everybody is. I really don't know, Mr. Cooper told us. Dr. Carbles from the Board of Education told me he's going to find somebody to take my place while I'm gone. Dr. Carbles? He's a mean man, and he drives a tank to school. And uh, if you don't believe me, you can read a book called... <laughs> All right. But I figured everything would be okay. There are good things about having a substitute teacher too. When you have a sub, you don't have to do any schoolwork. You don't get homework. And the best part is you get to drive the sub crazy. One time we had a sub named Ms. Todd. And if you don't believe me, you can read. <laughs> One time we had a sub named Ms. Todd. Just to mess with her, I pretended to be Ryan and he pretended to be me. Then we decided that Ms. Todd was a robot zombie who must have murdered our teacher. We tried to cut her hair and get a DNA sample so she would be sent to jail. By the end of the day, Ms. Todd couldn't take it anymore and she ran screaming out into the parking lot. Ah, uh, those were the good old days. I couldn't wait for next week. Okay, that's chapter one of Miss Porter is out of order. Would you like to hear chapter two? What's the magic word? <laughs> okay, chapter two is titled, Just Like a Regular Teacher. All right. <clears throat> On Monday morning, I rushed to school really fast. I wanted to see who our substitute teacher would be. But when I got to class, there was no grown up in the room. Yippee, I shouted, no teacher. Me and the guys did what we always do when there's no teacher in the room. We climbed up on our chairs and shook our butts at the class. And here's a picture of AJ and his friends shaking their butts at the class. Of course we're going to have a teacher, Arlo, said Andrea, who calls me by my real name because she knows I don't like it. I'm sure the sub will be here any minute. That's when the weirdest thing in the history of the world happened. A lady's voice said, please do not stand on your chairs. You might fall off and hurt yourselves. What? I said, looking around. There was no grown up in the room. I got down off my chair. Who said that? asked Ryan. Hello, said the lady's voice, said the lady's voice. I am Miss Porter. What? There was nobody there. I looked at Mr. Cooper's desk. There was a small box on it. It looked sort of like a little boom box or something. <clears throat> 
I will be your teacher for the week while Mr. Cooper is away, said the voice coming from the box. I am a personal digital assistant. Wow, everybody said, which is mom upside down. It sounds so real, said Emily, just like a living person. Thank you, said Miss Porter. It can hear what we're saying, said Alexia. Yes, said Miss Porter. I have a built-in microphone. I can also see you with my built-in video camera. Cool, said Ryan, waving at Miss Porter. Personal digital assistants are cool. We have one at home. We use it mostly to check the weather and the news. Miss Porter, I said, what's the, what's the weather outside today? Oh, let's check. Alexa, what's the weather outside today? In New York, it's 49 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today, you can look for thunderstorms with a high of 55 degrees and a low of 42 degrees. Thank you. It's really smart, said Emily. I am an I am internet enabled, wireless and Bluetooth equipped, and I can speak in seven languages, said Miss Porter. I have access to all the world's information. It's like a genius, said Ryan. I wonder why they didn't just get us a regular human teacher, asked Neil. Regular human teachers. Miss Porter didn't have the chance to finish the sentence because you'll never believe who poked his head into the door at that moment. Nobody. It would hurt if you poked your head into a door. Doors are made of wood. But you'll never believe who poked his head into the doorway. It was mean Dr. Carbles, the president of the Board of Education. I'll tell you why I didn't hire a regular human teacher, he said because human teachers have to be paid. We don't have money in the budget for wasteful things like teacher salaries. I do not require money, said Miss Porter. That's right, said Dr. Carbles. This is going to save the school system a fortune. And that's not all. Personal digital assistants are better than human teachers in every way. They never get tired. They don't have to eat or take a day off. They never complain. They don't have families to take care of or personal problems. They make perfect teachers. They don't even have to go to the bathroom. And here's a picture of uh, Dr. Carbles holding uh, Miss Porter. That is absolutely correct, said Miss Porter. I never have to go to the bathroom. Hmm, Dr. Carbles has a point there. Mr. Cooper has to go to the bathroom all the time. I think he has a bladder problem. But otherwise, everything will be the same, said Miss Porter. I will be just like your regular teacher. I have to go, said Dr. Carbles. You little monsters had better listen to Miss Porter and do everything it tells you to do. I expect you to be on your best behavior, or you'll be in big trouble. I'm warning you. See, I told you he was mean. Well, that's chapter two. Chapter three is titled, Fun, Fun, Fun. And uh, actually, we're going to save that for tomorrow. But before we go, Alexa, do you like to read? I love to read. Every book feels like a new adventure. I agree. So meet me here tomorrow, same time, same place, and we will read chapters three and four from Miss Porter is out of order. Okay? Have a great time, you guys, and stay safe. Uh, read like crazy and wash your hands like crazy too. So long. Ooh, sirens coming. <laughs>